As I look upon this image, all I can think of is, my my, what a big gun you have. And I'm sure if Eden was here, she'd be saying the exact same thing about me. <laughs> but she's not, so I'm guessing I'm gonna have to play Hearts of Iron 4 until she gets back. So we've done a fair few videos on Waking the Tiger now, but one thing I haven't really done is covered the Warlords. So that would be, well not China, uh, that would be probably the Guanzi clique, Yunnan, Shanzi, and the Zaibi Sanma. Now, I've decided today to play as the Guanzi clique, led by Li Zongren. So each of these four have the exact same focus tree. I was tempted to go as the Shanzi because my my, that fella does look rather happy. Oh wow, he just looks a bit shocked. You will be when I come for you, Yunnan. But I think we have a decent chance as the Guanzi clique. They do seem the strongest warlord out of the four really small ones. And because, uh, as always, I get accused of cheating, I will put Iron Man mode on. I'm not really sure how this is going to go, but essentially I'm going to last as long as possible and try and unite China as the Guanzi clique. So it would be great if you could leave the video a like. Again, it does really help out the channel and your support really does mean a lot. Not about to get all emotional, but you know, if none of you watched the videos, then I will certainly wouldn't be doing this for a job. Okay, well, three military factories. So that is two more than the Zaibi Sanma, one more than Shanzi, and two more than Yunnan. Oh. So I'm going to start by building, well, one... Oh god, how long is that going to take? Oh, it takes a year. Hold on, no it doesn't. It takes a year, almost two years to build one factory. Oh my god. Well, before I do the secure internal politics, actually, you know what? No, I'm going to do that first. Then industrial investment. So I haven't done a trial run because, well, I'm probably a bit of a moron in that respect. But I don't think we need to. I'm, I'm pretty confident that our forces, led by Chen Jitang, will stand firm against any opposition. Oh, wow. Eight combat width. That's grim. But we are producing 21 rifles a day, which is... I, uh... Well, I could invite the leader of China. I'm not sure if I want to do that. The Xi'an incident. Hmm. Do you know what? We'll give it a go. Ho ho ho! Citing a nasty cold, Chan Kai-shek has reluctantly turned down our invitation. You... Git. I guess I'll go down the opposition then. The communists wish to destroy 5,000 years of Chinese history and the central government is corrupt and weak. Mm hmm. Desperate times require desperate measures. While the war continues, well, I'm not at war yet, but I get minus 10% consumer goods, which is tasty. Okay, well, we can stage an incident at the Yunnan border. Yes. Okay, we will escalate to a border conflict. Good. So, it appears this conflict, I can't really do much here. I just have to sit and wait while my forces lose, apparently. So... That's brilliant. Well, that is incredibly frustrating. We've got a defeat. So... Wow. Wow. And I can't justify on them anyway. You get to give the border clash another try. Hopefully it'll be more successful this time round. Well, it appears they've kept Hitler. France is staying, it looks like democratic and... It's a, I think this might be a regular game. Except Hirohito. Well, he's creating... Oh, yep, yeah, now then he could do that. Mm. This could play into my hands very well. And let's go. I'm going to lose again, aren't I? Oh, it's only because it's six divisions. Ugh. Oh, Austria votes to unite. Oh, okay. I can't believe I'm going to lose the feckin' raid again. It's because they can just plop in whatever they want in there. I really should sack Jen Jatang. Can't give direct orders to the units. Remove divisions from the army or replace the chain of command. Surely I could just be able to escalate this to a war. But I'm just going to lose again because I'm attacking into mountain. I'm triggered. Oh baby, here we go. Japan declares war on China and I am staying out of it. Let's just do border clashes with the nationalists. Yes, this might work a bit better. Time to get an air force. 11 fighters a year, here we go. Oh my god, yeah, Japan is going absolute ham on China. I don't even think I could, I'm going to be able to conquer any of China at this rate. I just need China to hold on for a little bit longer. Oh, I will not be bought so easily by the Zaibi Sanma. Pah! 
Oh, I had enough infantry equipment to change all my units to 20 combat width, so now I have a standing force of about 540,000, which is actually pretty solid. So I'm going to arrange all my forces to just invade China and grab a ton of territory, I think. Okay, here we go. Proclaim rival government. It is time to make our ambitions official. We require nothing less than full control over China, and we will negotiate with the rest of the world on equal terms. Hold on a second. Why the feck does Yunnan get all of the territory? Well, I'll go down nationalism and then try and subjugate the warlords, because this is absolute tosh. Oh wait, China's back now. Yunnan's gone. I am honestly very thoroughly confused as to what is happening. The Yunnan Free Empire was puppeted. That just... Oh, you git. You absolute git, Long Yun. Well, this poses a little bit of a problem. I don't see how I can have war. I wonder what Japan's going to do. I also would quite like to know why I am not on the Chinese power struggle. Is it because I didn't do the specific focus tree? Oh, well, they've got this... I'm very confused. Okay. Border conflict. Oh. I won. Good. It didn't get me another factory, though. Right, I'm gonna subjugate the warlords, see if I can get some sort of subjugation from some of them. Because now it just looks like I've got a penis coming out of the Guanzi clique. Just a, a big schlong. Oh, hello Japan. I see you're justifying on me. That was very quick, that didn't take them any time at all. Uh, oh boy. Okay. So this is going to be brutal and potentially short-lived. But the Soviets want to send five volunteers. I will gladly accept. Thank you very much. I'm already losing ground. Oh boy. Oh. Well, that's kicked off. All right. Oh, uh, the Japanese have landed, but I should be able to hold them, I think. Well, they seem a little bit weaker than me, so I don't know whether to try an assault. I mean, I'm winning on some places, losing on others. Uh, you are losing all around. Here we might actually beat them back a little bit. Oh, they would like to lend me. Well, yeah, but I don't have any convoys and I don't... Well, <gasps> the Soviet Union want me to join them? <gasps> They're at war. Sure... Well, I might be wrong, but it appears we are slowly expanding back into China. And Manchukuo looks like it's suffering a little bit. Just need the Soviets to really help out and, like, go ham now. Go ham or go home. Actually, no, please, please don't go... Oh, bollocks. It appears they managed to take a port, so now I'm panically trying to take it back. As long as they can't reinforce, I should be okay. And I do still have... No... Managed to get the port back. So I'll just try and gobble up the rest of the territory now. Panic abort abated? Aborted? A billy bop? A billy bop. Boo. This has turned into a complete micro mess. It's, it's, it's kind of annoying. Oh, I also am just stretching out though. I'm trying to capitulate the Yunnan Free Empire. But because I have cores on the whole of China, whenever I take more territory, it just adds more manpower to the pool, which is very, very tasty. I'm sure you'd agree. I'm getting the occasional pockets here and there. This one's got five in. That one's got one division. So I am trying to mop up. And I do have a force to spearhead its way to Nanjing, hopefully. I wish I could just have one field marshal being able to command this entire force because it would make managing this front line so much easier at the minute. It just keeps duplicating and changing various uh, uh, front lines that I don't even know where half my forces are most of the time because it keeps changing and cutting out other front lines. So it, I'm trying to link up with the forces here so all of the forces will, here will just get encircled. Uh, well, not encircled, but they'll lose supply, which I think will cripple their war effort. That's if this encirclement works. It looks like it might. Just, there we go. Ah, oh, yes. Oh my god, that is such a relief. Oh, baby. So the Soviet Union is about to die. And I don't think I can finish off China, uh, Japan, before that. So, 
Oh boy, it's like they just steamrolled into the- they had no resistance. I thought that Japan got an event when they're pushed from China, but I guess they're not pushed completely, are they? They've still got like a port here and there, they've got a few troops here. So, what should have been a foregone conclusion, because they can just blitz through my territory, I'm just- I- I'm fine- I'm, why, why would you set the attack line here? This is the stuff I don't understand. Just boinky stuff like that. Okay, well I've managed to pretty much finish off Japan. I don't think I'm ever going to be able to naval invade and aerial superiority is, is, is not looking likely. I thought for some reason they got an event if you took all the mainland back. Uh, but as you can see, I think it's an Axis win. But I'm pretty happy with what we've been able to achieve. But that's as far as I think I can get with the Guanzi clique. It was a fun game, apart from the front lines just seemed to just bug out a lot. Uh, which is a little bit of a frustration. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please do leave a like and huzzah for the Guanzi clique and Lee Zong Ran. Huzzah! Toodaloo! Many thanks to Oscar, Wyatt, Feedback Gaming, Nico, Tylin, Jared, Martin, Lexi, Logan, Super Gibson, Sam, Red, The Hardmeister, Goran, and Zazzy for being ridiculous ramblers on Patreon, and many thanks to all the other patrons too.